Uh, it turns out that it's a pain in the butt to get the drive to go back down though, so maybe I shouldn't have done that, huh? This is an Acer Aspire E5-576-392H. Or an E5576 series. What we need to do is install a solid state drive. Now I've taken these three screws out already because that's the easy part. Getting this door off, that's the easy part. Solid state drive. First of all, do you see this? This is not where the solid state drive goes. Let me give you some zoom action actually. This is not where the solid state goes. It goes over here. We are going to put it over here. And it comes down here. Now, if you were using a shorter drive, you would need to take this screw here out and you would need to move this post. This post, which I'll try to show you, this post is actually removable. You would need to use a small socket, not that small, if you want to stick a 2242, it is a 5.0 millimeter socket. So if you need to remove this post to put a drive in, you can. But this is where the drive goes. This computer should take both SATA type like this and PCI Express. I wish that the customer had not already bought this drive well in advance so that I could recommend to them to get an NVMe PCI Express solid state drive and not this much slower SATA version. But, you know, them's the ropes. Uh, looks like this computer, the RAM is easy to get to too. It's got uh, two eights in it, so this one's 16 gigs. Um, fairly decent base specs. Uh, you can actually get to a bunch of wires here, but it's pointless because you can't get to the hardware. So, at least the RAM and the SSD and the hard drive are easy to get to. Uh, Wi-Fi card? Somewhere in there, probably. Real quick, while we're looking, <clears throat> the design seems to be the type where you would pry, you would pry around the edge after removing all the screws that hold this bottom plate on to get access to everything else in the machine. I'm not doing that, but I am going to check these hinges to make sure they're tight. Anyway, that's how you physically install one of these NVMe or SATA PCI Express style drives into the computer, any of the M2 format. You can have a hard drive installed at the same time. If you get the hard drive out, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Pull it away from the socket and up. Not hard. Uh, we're going to leave this hard drive in and we're going to reformat it so that uh, this person will be able to use it as storage. Uh, it turns out that it's a pain in the butt to get the drive to go back down though, so maybe I shouldn't have done that, huh? Anyway, um, I don't like the way that they put these together. Yeah, there's a dip here and you have to get it in the dip and then, yeah. All right, so I just demonstrated on video why I am a terrible computer guy that's gonna ruin your computer. Cool, uh, awesome. I hope that this is helpful. If you happen to stick an SSD in here that's the same size as your hard drive, you could probably just clone it in Linux using the DD command. Look that one up if you feel especially adventurous. Um, of course, you'd need to then wipe the other drive and you'd probably want to unhook the other drive because Windows won't boot. If you have two drives with the same signature, it will get confused and bad things will happen. But hey, man. <laughs> Cloning is beyond the scope of this discussion. I have to do it by hand because I'm not paying someone else for software for something I can do with a partition editor. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and of course, go to jodybruchon.com to financially support me so I can continue making these computer repair videos to help people out. Take care and have a nice day.